Oh, this is too much for me, y'all. This is a world. This is a world. This is a world. So, hey, welcome back to the vlog. So, first of all, I'm going to apologize to everybody because I've been trying to post updates from the rehearsal room every day, but yesterday you guys will be super excited to know that I spent hours in a dance rehearsal and so I have footage that I'm gonna share with you guys, but it's gonna take me a little bit uh, of time to edit all that stuff down to something that's manageable. I'm also gonna be doing an interview with the choreographer Thaddeus Abbott. I've been super, super busy, so not only am I directing Ready, Set, Go Race, I'm also the artistic director of the theater company and we have some shows with young people being produced this evening and tomorrow. So things are just, you know, things are just, I'm pretty damn busy. So I don't know if you guys have been paying attention. Yesterday I talked a little bit about this whole thing going on with Russia. You guys know I follow Democracy Now! And yesterday they had an interview with Stephen Cohen, who is a professor at NYU, who's an expert on the subject. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson sat down with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and President Putin himself. That meeting apparently lasted five hours. Cohen was able to break down the importance of Rex Tillerson's relationship with Russia because of his former role as the CEO of ExxonMobil, bringing up the fact that he brokered probably the largest deal with Russia and any Western energy company. That relationship doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna put an end to the tensions between Russia and the rest of the world because of their relationship with Syria and President Assad. I think even Donald Trump has gotten his priorities straight and is really giving this the focus that it deserves. I think the press and the media have figured it out as well. According to Stephen Cohen, this could be the most dangerous moment between Russia and the US since the Cuban Missile Crisis. If you don't know what the Cuban Missile Crisis is, I suggest you look that up. Suffice it to say that the two largest nuclear powers in the world should have a better relationship than the relationship we currently have with Russia. There certainly shouldn't be the tension that arose out of the recent military action taken by the US in Syria when we bombed an airfield. There's even some speculation that Trump made this move because he wanted to set aside suspicions that he was in league with the Russians. But this probably isn't a time for speculation. I think this is a time for keeping a careful watch on what is happening in the world around you. It's also not the time to be bashing Donald Trump, but really hoping that he keeps his head in the game. If and when things relax a bit, we can go back to raking him over the coals. Check out the interview with Stephen Cohen on Democracy Now! I'll include a link in the description box below. I wanna thank all of you for your supportive responses to my video yesterday. Yeah, yeah, the answer to the question is yes. I am okay. There were also some people that were a little disturbed by my strong language and I was simply trying to reflect some of what I was getting from, well, you know, from certain individuals. I understand that that's not language that should be used lightly or taken lightly. I keep forgetting to remind you all, please tune in on Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time for my live stream on You Now. I know it's Easter Sunday for some of you, but I'm still gonna be here, so if you're not gonna be, you know, celebrating the resurrection of the Christian Savior, please do join me for the live stream. As you can see, my eyebrows still are not back in. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto,